we're back with WSJ Lunch Break. I'm Wendy Bounds. How does Bill Nye, the science guy, keep his home humming with little energy consumption? Well, we're going to ask him right now. Bill Nye, he's joining us right now from Los Angeles. Hi there, Bill. Yeah. Uh, good afternoon. I'm so happy to see you and your bow tie. I would hope you'd be wearing nothing less with us. Uh, tell us a little bit about this home of yours in Southern California, about how big is it, how old is it, and then we're going to drill down to sort of the nitty gritty of the technology there. Uh, the house was built, in my understanding, in 1951. It's a mountain home, which was some guy who competed with the birds. We're architects who uh, designed these buildings that you might have heard of in Pasadena, where they're very distinctive, craftsman-style house. This one is somewhat more modest than those. but. It's about the house itself is about 1,200 square feet. That's it. All right, 1,200 square feet, and you've done a lot to sort of retrofit it to be very energy efficient. A lot of people think you often have to start from scratch, but uh, you've been doing oh, no, it. No, you no. don't at all. Yeah. Uh, let's just start with the color of the house, and then we'll sort of move over to the solar side of things and the insulation properties. The color of your house helps. Yeah, well, it's pale. It's a pale color, a color that reflects sunlight. And here in uh, the Mediterranean climate of Southern California, that's that's a big plus. You know, it gets to be, in Fahrenheit, it gets to be well over 100 degrees in the summertime here. It's I live, like, totally in the valley. That's, like, where I live. Right. And so, like, it gets really hot in the summertime. Anyway, so you want to keep the house cool that way. The other big thing, uh, for those of you your listeners, your viewers, who for some reason do not read the journal every Friday. Who are those? There's a picture people? of my house where you see this big tree, a thing we call a camphor tree. In the spring, it smells like Vicks vapor rub. <laughs> anyway, it provides a lot of shade. A lot of shade and that's there. That's a huge thing. And coming from the exterior, you also, the sort of thermal envelope of your home, if you will, the shell of it, you've been working on that, sort of beefing up the insulation using everything from uh, uh, den denim insulation to your, your windows. Uh, you're having uh, insulation, insulated windows. Tell us about what you've done there. So, if those of you unfamiliar with denim insulation, it's this, a couple of companies have found a way to make the scraps from the blue jean factories into insulation that works better in general than fiberglass insulation. Doesn't have the formaldehyde and it's treated with a phosphate, the kind of uh, kind of uh, soap that rats and so on do not eat. <laughs> and it doesn't burn. It doesn't burn. It doesn't in fact fiberglass insulation will melt. I've done this demonstration many times, will melt under a torch and this blue jean stuff does not, but all that is, will not burn rather. That aside, that's just modern insulation that's uh, a very a good use of recycled or recovered materials. But the big investment, as you mentioned earlier, are the double pane low emissivity glass windows. The, these windows in my house cost as much as a small car to put them in, uh, in every wall and every one of the windows. But you end up with a house that's much warmer in the winter and much cooler in the summer using uh, much less uh, energy to run the uh, air conditioner, heat, heat pump. And you're the science guy, Bill. I mean, people, when they go to shop for windows these, windows these days, they hear about solar heat gain coefficient, low E windows, the U factor, and they're like, wait, wait, I just want windows. But the truth of the matter is, is that these coatings, these low E coatings that can be put on the windows can be beneficial no, no matter where you live, whether you're in a warm climate like you are or in a cold climate, just depending on how they build the windows. Oh, yeah. And it's so competitive. I mean, I put these windows in um, going on three years ago. In the last three years, I think another half dozen companies have emerged that are in the business. And you just you can figure out which ones will provide the best uh, insulation for the money. And the other thing is very important to me is they have to look good. Right. You don't want windows that don't look good. Now you and so uh, I found them. And I threw money at the problem. You threw money at them, and hopefully money's coming back into you in the form of energy savings. Now, you've got a solar hot water system, uh, a photovoltaic system for your electricity. I want to talk, though, before we have to let you go, about your chili peppers. Tell us about these chili pepper pumps. So I just, you guys, I just stumbled on these things. I am not an expert on this deal, but it's a box about this big and about that thick. You mount it under the sink, and it's an electric pump. 
And I would say as an engineer, just looking at it, it looks about the same size motor as you have in an electric drill. And so it pumps water. You, you turn on the, uh, you, you press a, a very small button, very low voltage button. You can't get a shock from it. And it runs a pump so that it pushes hot uh, water from the hot water side of your sink to over to the cool, backwards to the cool. Yep, and it's through the, through the cold water side until the hot water shows up. Yep. All right, Bill, we're gonna have to leave it there. We're running out of time, okay. but there's more from you online on WSJ.com. Bill Nye, the science guy. Thanks for I being with us. I have three chili peppers. Carry got, on. Good to talk. All right. To you. Thanks so much.